Welcome, I am Jesse Bad the Alien, always happy to see you. And welcome to another edition of Dragon Talk. Alright, so I've been getting a lot of questions recently about my VTubing. So I thought I would give you a little rundown of my story as a VTuber. So, how I started, and where I am now, and also some of the software I use. Alright, so let's get into it. So it all started back in July 2018, when I first started on Twitch. Back in the day, there was much less VTubers, and also much less VTubing software. So we had to improvise. Although, there were some better options than the one I ended up using. But I was not aware of them at the time because, you know, I am big done. So, what I used to do is overly complicated, but allow me to explain. So, I used the chat as a webcam for my streaming of other games. And I was running it on a second PC, which was connected with a capture card to my main gaming rig and streaming PC. And I would have a green screen behind me, and I would feed that into my OBS with some chroma key, but I had to be careful because since I'm green, I had to use a different shade of green screen so I would not totally disappear, you know, just alien things. Anyway, so to have that capture, I needed to use my old VR headset, which was a Oculus Rift, the original one, and I had to wear it, and now, don't try this at home kids, I had to wear the headset on the my forehead with some, with a beanie under it to keep it in place, so that way it could track my head movements. And I was using the Oculus controllers to control my hands. Although since when you're streaming, your hands are on your keyboard and mouse, you don't always see them in the view. But when I wanted to make a point and, you know, gesture, I would pick them up from each side of my keyboard and move around. Although, getting the camera set up was tedious and took a lot of time. And if my internet had any hiccups, VR chat would kick me out of the lobby I had set up in, and I would have to reset up all over again. And it happened to me a few times on stream, so I had to go BRB and set that shit up in a panic. So, not good. And worst of all, the added weight on my head and the weight was balanced gave me neck pains that I had to go to the doctor for after a few months. So, yeah, no, I don't recommend that technique. Most of all, not anymore, because... There are so many more awesome software you can use, like Suva, for example, SUVA, which is the one I currently use, that allows me to use the Steam VR and Vive Fuck trackers to move my head and hands. So I have track straps that I use to secure the Vive Fucks to my wrists, so I can have hand movement. And I have the third tracker on a baseball cap in front, resting on the lip of it. So it is more stable, and that's how I can move around, and you can see it on screen. And I also purchased the Toby Eye Tracker, so you can see me blink and move my eyes in real time as well. So, it's probably one of the best VTuber solutions out there, although the price is pretty steep. The software itself is $10, but each Vive Tracker costs $99 US, and you need two Vive base stations to control to get the capture. So those things you put in each side of your room cost $129 each. And the eye tracker itself is $150. So I spent, I'm not good at math, but I would assume around seven to $800 on the setup. So it's kind of expensive for motion capture, but not really, because the better options are motion tracking suits that can cost around $30,000. So those are the big bucks, but give you the best results. So seven or eight hundred dollar for this motion capture solution is a pretty good deal, all things considered, if you have the money. But if you don't have the money and want to still be a VTuber, there are multiple less expensive options for you with webcam tracking. So with some good lighting and a good webcam, you can get great results in software like VC Face and Lepet, among others. I will put a few links in the description below if you're curious about the software. And also, there's a lot of great VTuber resources on YouTube. I recommend two great content creators to get you started. I recommend Argama Witch for VTuber tutorials, 
as well as the Abani. The links to their channel and some of the videos I find helpful will be in the description below as well. So that will get you started on your own journey as a VTuber. But yeah, so I've been streaming this way since July 2018. And I started using Suva in April of 2019 to this day, which is what I use now. Well, not right now, I'm recording this in VR chat because Suva does not allow for full body tracking, like what I'm currently doing. So, this allows me to record in a varied location and also have a way to keep track of my friends as well. So I recommend VR chat as a good complementary social tool to your VTubing because you'll make some awesome friends and get to see awesome things even if you don't have a VR headset. Alright, so the journey has been pretty interesting so far and I've met a lot of awesome people and I'm very excited for the future. But if you are ever curious about what I use and how I make this possible, I hope this was informative for you. If you have any more questions, please let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer you. Maybe directly in the comments, or I might make a new video out of it. Who knows? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that the subscribe button and hit that bell as well, as some human content creators would say on this platform. And don't forget I stream four times on Twitch, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. The schedule is in the description below. So much information. Alright, so I'll see you next time. And remember, tomorrow is a new day. Anything is possible. Take care, and see you soon. I'm still not sure what the toilet cleaner does here. Hey, you liars, I was not aiming at the toilet.